An explosion in a coal mine in eastern Iran killed at least 34 workers and injured 17 others, officials said Sunday, marking one of the worst mining disasters in the country's history as others remained missing hours after the blast. The blast struck a coal mine in Tabas, about 540 kilometers, 335 miles, southeast of the capital, Tehran, on Saturday night. By Sunday, weeping miners stood alongside mine cars that brought up the bodies of their colleagues, all covered in coal dust. Around 70 people had been working at the time of the blast. State television later said that 17 were believed to be trapped at a depth of 200 meters down a 700-meter tunnel. However, figures kept changing throughout Sunday regarding the disaster in the rural area with some reports suggesting the death toll was higher. A provincial emergency official, Muhammad Ali Akoundi, told the state-run Erna News Agency Sunday afternoon that the death toll had reached at least 34 as rescue efforts continued. Survivors interviewed by State TV, still smudged in coal dust, described chaotic scenes after the blast. We were in the mine, working. Suddenly there was some smoke rising. Then I noticed I had difficulty breathing, said one miner, whom State TV did not identify. I jumped off from the workshop and I scrambled until I reached somewhere. My friends in there. Authorities blamed the blast on a leak of methane gas. Such gases are common in mining, though modern safety measures call for ventilation and other measures to protect workers. It wasn't immediately clear what safety procedures were in place at the privately owned Mandanju company, which operated the Tabas Parveda 5 mine. The firm could not be reached for comment Sunday. Rescue operations were ongoing on Friday in the northern Italian region of Emilia-Romagna, following severe flooding after days of torrential rains. About a thousand people were evacuated on Thursday, local media reported. Two people were reported missing in the village of Traversera, where firefighter video showed residents being airlifted to safety. Rivers flooded in three of the region's provinces, Ravenna, Bologna and Fanza as local mayors asked people to stay on upper floors or leave their houses. Trains were suspended and schools closed across the affected areas, and residents have been advised to avoid travel and work from home where possible. The rain is expected to stop on Friday. Several Central and Eastern European nations have been plagued by severe flooding in recent days, including Austria, the Czech Republic, Poland and Romania with the death toll rising over 20 people across the region.